<laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Leslie The Sims 4. Wait, no, just kidding. The Sims Life Stories. Yeah, that's where we are. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to have Miss Riley wake up because let me tell you, this girl has been through it all. Also, in the last episode, I got a comment from Devin Buckner saying the blonde hair was a turn to the dark side, which means going back to her natural brown color is her metaphor metamorphosis back to the light and how Riley gets her groove back. I couldn't agree more. The whole reason why she dyed her hair um, blonde was to essentially attract Mickey. And at this point, we're pretty much done with both the boys. At least that's what I think. But of course, <laughs> with Riley, you never truly do know. So right now she is making her herself i have literally no clue <laughs> um but we're gonna just eat and then i think after that i'm gonna have her dye back her hair and probably take a shower too because she is a little stinky i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am so nervous about this episode like i am literally freaking out because i truly don't even know like what's around the bed anymore and also i think i'm getting sick i hope not so if you hear me kind of sounding a little strange like if i sound weird that's why and at this point i almost want to just like burn all my clothes <laughs> and i love how the first thing Riley does after she gets out of the shower is tap on the fish tank she's like you guys you're my friends everybody else is just they're they're, they're the world is full of fakes, but I'm going to have her come back in here and she is going to change up her appearance. I also think at this point we should maybe dip into some of our new digs, you know, because in the last episode we also decided to uh, basically rob our ex blind, which, you know, I mean, he kind of deserved it. I'm not going to lie. He's he's a <laughs> he's a pretty dirty man, to be honest, but I don't know what I want to do for my hair. Like, I kind of just want to go completely like, I just want to do something different than what we have, like completely opposite, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm ready to commit. Also, this kind of reminds me of Alice's hair from Twilight, and <laughs> I don't know if I like it or I love it or what, but I kind of do uh, like it on Riley for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe like this short haircut here. Gosh, there really isn't a lot of options now, is there? Um, I think I might just go with this hairstyle for now. I actually kind of like it on her. And of course, this outfit is literally the exact same outfit that Ashley was wearing so we probably should change out our everyday outfit too and don't get me wrong I still really love the sophisticated outfits that she purchased but I just don't want her to look so close to Ashley that she's basically her doppelganger this cream kind of like I don't know what this is like cream turtleneck rib dress it's classic I also love the kitten heels so we'll go and we'll select that and I'm not gonna lie like she's definitely she's definitely banging she's super cute I don't think anything fun is is gonna happen tonight honestly just because it is getting like so dark um i might have her just like watch a little tv maybe she'll go and make herself another meal and then probably go to bed are we going to work tomorrow that is actually a really good question jen um actually <laughs> uh we do have a work tomorrow so we should probably call it an early night Oh god, I'm really starting to dread when the phone rings and it happens every single time we're eating. That is seriously so scary. We're gonna go answer it and I'm just hoping and praying it's like a random call and nothing too crazy. Oh my goodness, it's our friend from the boutique. Do you guys remember Phoenix and how badly Riley wanted to become best friends with him? I swear to god, this is probably the best thing to happen out of this whole entire shindig, shenomena, whatever you want to call it. I am so excited that she He's actually finding a real and a true friend. He's calling her, checking up on her just to see how she's doing. And let me tell you, she is just giving him all the hot goss. I love it. I was just thinking, when is Riley going to get a promotion? But it looks like today is that day and Riley has been promoted to a coordinator. Although still a peen? Peon? <laughs> Um, anyways, and the hours are worse. Your pay is much better. Your creative vision on projects you work on will get you noticed. Riley now works from 9 to the 15th hundredth hour, and uh, she also brought home $425 a day, and she even got a bonus. That's awesome. I can't let things end this way. That jerk Dylan showed me that a sincerely nice man comes by far too rarely. I will do everything in my power to try to restore what Mickey and I have 
had together. No matter how long it takes, I will make it up to him. I feel like in a metaphorical sense, when she threw away that newspaper, it was like Riley throwing away Dylan, you know, taking out the trash. <laughs> so we have a new goal and the goal is Mickey will be mine. Mm -mm -mm. How did I not see this coming? I'm actually kind of proud of Riley right now because I can see the effort that she is making to be a better person. You know, she's eating a salad. She's taking care of herself. She just got a promotion. And it almost seems just like that. She has had a true metamorphosis, like Devin said, and it's kind of interesting to watch. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to make Mickey mine. The only thing that I can assume that I probably should do is maybe invite him over and start apologizing. So we're just going to kind of clean up really fast. I love how she just washed a couple of dishes and was like, nah that works. I mean, let's just totally disregard the big nasty moldy tub in the bathroom. You know, it's fine. We're on a mission. All right. We're going to invite him over. We are going to basically profess our undying love. And oh my God, if my wanting to see you was on a scale of one to zero. I'd still say no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So he literally hates us right now. He does not want anything to do with us. And do we blame the man? This honestly just feels like a bunch of deja vu. Like I'm getting dizzy at this point. You know, I'm on a merry-go-round and I just want to get off. I don't know what the heck is going on, but it feels like we've already did this kid dirty so many times. And he's just gonna, he's just gonna take us back just like that. Like, I'm sorry in the real world. Like, I don't even know if I would like even have the balls or the gall to even try to insinuate that he should get back with me and trust me after all that but um i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna invite him over we called him a couple times i don't think that is the key here i mean we are kind of friendly what how nice of you to invite me i'll just gussy up and come right over i don't know what she told this man but he is running I don't know why it took me so long, but does he not kind of remind you of Ross from Friends? <laughs> is it is it is it like the 1990s hair where all the boys used to do that? What is it called? Like the duck bill? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Like seriously, but I feel like every kid in my middle school had this exact same hairstyle. He's like, hey Riley, it's so nice for you to invite me over. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> like really, that's honestly what I feel like he is thinking silently right now, but he's trying to take the high road. I love how she's just trying to basically insert herself into his business and you know maybe possibly uh persuade him to call off the wedding because that was supposed to happen like why the hell would you want to marry her I, I mean look at her she literally looks like a tarantula like that doesn't even make any sense but you know what maybe he has a thing for bugs i mean after all riley has really proven she is quite the cockroach but i'm thinking maybe if we can at least like you know um complete this goal we can move on because i heard in the comments Comments that this is supposed to be a really, really good episode. So we'll see. They are kind of cute together. Like, I see it. I see it a little bit. I kind of want to puke, but I do definitely feel the vibes, the energy, the aura, if you will. I asked Mickey if he wanted to spend the night, but I don't know if he said yes or no. Actually, I don't even know at all. Um, The whole goal is just to get him to come around, and I kind of feel like we've been, we've been doing that. Like, I feel at this point, we should be pretty much back together already, and that was just way way too easy i'm telling you riley has been basically just throwing herself at him at this point and there's another proposal try to stay the night let's just see i'm gonna pay attention this time to see if he actually will will take the bait um i'm hoping fingers are crossed Ooh, he says yes okay i wonder if it's possible for him or for riley and him to like you know get a little get a little cozy cozy i don't know if it's gonna be an option and is he taking a <gasps> ew <laughs> oh no he's taking a shower in her dirty ass bathtub how embarrassing girl do you not have any like <laughs> do you not have any salt well actually don't answer that <laughs> i want him to come over but i don't think i can actually invite him i'm just waiting this is i i'm, I'm the, like the least patient person in the world oh god no what did i just do i'm like so nervous y'all i like exited out of it i wanted him to come join and here he comes oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness he just had a you know yeah he had a um he had to soak his balls first but is there any way that we can like oh we can kiss and we can cuddle oh my god i know where this is going <laughs> do you guys see what time it is <clears throat> all night long Riley, this is so hard for me to do. I'm so happy that we were able to patch things up, but I made a promise to Agora. What kind of man would I be if I broke that promise? I'm sorry, you've literally had your little slug tongue down my throat the entire night and all of a sudden come dawn? You 
have morals? Riley, I'd like you to have this. It's been with me all of my life, but I'd like him to be with you now. I'm sorry, Riley, but I have to do what I have to do. Don't forget me, Riley. I'll never forget you. Oh my God, I feel so bad for her. We literally tried so hard, but the man, the kid, I mean, really? How could I ever forget you, my love? I'm not trying to be, okay, a bitch, but <laughs> seeing karma just bite her right in the left nalgita honestly gives me a level of satisfaction that I don't think I've ever experienced in my 33 years of life until now. Anyways, <laughs> taking out the trash yet again, Riley is going to go to work and I'm sure she's going to be thinking about this literally all day because honestly, how could she not? I will always cherish everything I had with Mickey. He deserves a better girl than me. Too bad Ogor doesn't fit the bill. I'm happy we were able to reconcile partly. I just hope that one day he'll be able to forgive me. Just as I was ready to wrap up this video, we get home and look what the raccoons drug in. It is Dylan. Riley, you and your aunt have cost me everything. Get out here, both of you. I'm not done with either of you. Oh, what in the world is that lunatic raving about? My aunt is staying with a sick friend. Um, is Aunt Sharon a drug dealer? Like, are there some, really, was that necessary? Yeah, uh -huh, that's right, pick it up, okay? Like, oh my god, yuck, I hate him. He's literally having a tantrum while freaking out, still yelling at me. <gasps> Aunt Sharon? Oh my god, I have fucking chills. That's him, officer. That's the man that kidnapped me? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh my freaking god. Aunt Sharon, are you okay? Oh, Riley, I was so scared. Dylan tricked me into getting a large life insurance policy, then trapped me in his basement. <gasps> what a freaking weirdo. Okay, seriously, girl, you can chill. It's fine if the trash is about to catch you on fire. You got bigger issues. Are you really? Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Like, let me process what's happening. Riley, put down the dustpan. Seriously, it's not that. Oh my god. Dylan kidnapped Aunt Sharon? Wait, hold on. Was that him in the beginning? In the car? Is that the man that picked up Aunt Sharon? <gasps> How the hell did I miss that? Oh my freaking god. Get him, officer. Put your hands behind your back. Literally, these two were a match made in heaven. I cannot believe that he tried to kill and kidnap me and Sharon. I have so many questions and ultimately Riley <laughs> is devastated yet again. Don't worry, Miss Harlow. Your aunt told us everything we need to know. Mr. Dipshit here won't be kicking over any trash cans where he's going. Please be careful as he wasn't the only one who was involved in this scheme. I'm sorry, not the only one? Who else is involved in this scheme? Wow, this is unexpected. I'm a little lost. Perhaps Aunt Sharon can clarify things a bit for me. I mean, a little lost? Like, I'm actually confused. So much just happened in like 10 seconds that I can't even begin to process like what actually just occurred. Oh, freaking finally. Oh, no, 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 Riley, you had to sit there and disrupt your aunt's cooking. It has been forever since you've had yourself a little lobster thermidor. Please, by all means, Aunt Sharon, continue to cook. Um, are you fish alive? <laughs> Let me just clean this tank real quick, you know? I mean, I know you over your eyeball and your fish and you could have sworn when you left you had eight of them and now all of a sudden you got like seven and a half. Is that one missing a tail? <laughs> Ricky's fine. Riley has gained a point of cleaning. Oh my god, at this point we gained so many points of cleaning. Uh, it looks like our goal is to now talk to Aunt Sharon to get a little clarification. Did she only make herself one dish? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, listen here, honey. I see the way you left my house. You're also wearing my clothes and <laughs> sleeping in my bed. And I haven't had a good meal in weeks. <laughs> I deserve this shit. Never mind. I guess we aren't going to be having any lobster thermidor, but that's okay. I kind of want to get down to the bottom of this. Dylan kept me locked up in his basement, trying to force me to declare him as my beneficiary. I wouldn't budge, so he set his eyes on the next in line. You. It was a crazy coincidence that you two apparently had known each other. You Using that, he planned to marry you, then do away with both of us and keep the money for himself and his accomplice. He even sent you that email in my name. I escaped by using my old army training and went straight to the police. I figured he'd probably be here expecting me to come straight home. One thing he didn't account for was that 
that I swiped his projection television on the way out. Kind of my way of thanking him. Here, you can have it. Even Riley can't even believe what is going on. Wait, there's more? Too bad that ugliest woman Dylan was conspiring with isn't here. Just be careful. Sounded like she had something personal against you. She said she'd get you where it hurt the most. You guys, the only two people that I can possibly think of right now is probably Agora or Ashley, but Agora is definitely the uglier one for sure. <laughs> ugliest woman? That can only be Agora. I have to warn Mickey. I bet Fiona knows where the wedding is taking place. I can't believe it. Dylan and Agora were in cahoots with each other and planned on getting rid of both myself and Aunt Sharon. There's no time to talk though. I have to go stop Mickey from marrying Agora. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, Riley, you have the absolute worst taste in men. I can't even believe somebody who was going to or who was claiming that they loved me so much could be capable of doing something so horrific. This is giving me like major crime show vibes and I'm here for it because in case you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with shows like Snapped and what else is there? Like um, uh, the, the person you married or things like that. Anything like crime show related, I am like hooked. So to see this, uh, to see life stories have that type of spin in addition to being kind of like a telenovela like this by far is one of the most amazing stories I have ever like played through for sure why did they stop making these like honestly I wish they would kind of do this for the sims 4 but anyways it looks like tonight we are actually going to be sleeping in our bed since the beloved aunt Sharon has returned I love how she's like more stylish than I am and I'm not exactly sure if she actually left in these clothes or this is all she had while she was there but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this chapter and this video i don't even know what to call it and this part but i hope you all enjoyed whatever this was and if you did you know what to do boo. don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine <laughs> and i will see you all next time and I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that, that you miss me.